getting right back on track with superior and traction. Hey y'all and welcome back. This video here is going to be showing you how to instantiate superior within traction. I'm going to give you both a stereo example and a multiple output example, okay? Now typically whenever you start traction you're going to be greeted with this project window here where you're able to choose new project open yada yada yada. And that's what we want to do is go ahead and click right there on a new project tab. Okay, and then this new project window will pop up that asks you if you want to name it. If so, go ahead. We're going to do Superior 2 and just hit OK. Next, we want to come up here and double click where it says S2 Edit 1. And then our main window will come up just like this here. Okay, now what I am going to do real quick is go ahead and delete all the tracks just to show you how to do this from scratch, okay? It's really no big deal, but I want to make sure that we're on a clean palette here, so to speak, all right? First thing I want to do is come on down and choose a track-related command right there where it says tracks. I'm going to click on it, and then what I want to do is create several new tracks. Now, I'm not really sure how many, so we're just going to go ahead and do, I don't know, we'll do a dozen for now, okay? So right here on track one, we want to drag something called a filter. And in order to do that, what you do is you come right here and you grab this button that says new filter and you just drag it down to track one. All right. And then drop it right there. Now we're going to be faced with an option to choose what instrument we want to get going. And for this video, we're going to go ahead and do superior drummer. And then here's your superior interface. Okay. And you're ready to start rocking and rolling. If you need to get in and get out real quick, or if you just want to do a stereo output, that's fine. You got all of them right there, ready to go. Okay. But I'd like to show y'all something else and that's utilizing the multi output option. So let's go ahead and click on our mixer tab right here. And next, what we want to do is come on down to the output column. Okay. Click right there. And if you like, you can choose custom outputs for each individual kit piece. But for this example, I'm just going to choose multi-channel and superior takes care of routing it all for us. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide this. And next thing I want to do is right click where it says superior drummer, that filter right there. And then I'm coming on down and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this filter in a new rack filter. And the next window you're going to see is your rack, just like so. Okay. Now, at this point, I really don't have to work out of this particular window, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just kind of shrink it down a little bit. All right, I still want you to be able to see what's going on, though. And next, what we're going to do is come back up here and select this wrapper, okay? And I want you to look at something real quick before we go any farther. If you look down here in the information window, you're going to see that the left output comes from s1 slash 2 and the right output comes from s2 slash 3 so that means that our first output is going to be 1 2 2 3 okay now if you can grab that concept then the rest will just you know fall right into place with no problem but watch what i mean here on this next step okay what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on the filter while holding control on our keyboard and just drag it on down boom next thing you want to do while you have this filter selected is come on down here and you're going to go ahead and use the next set of outputs watch this you're going to go three four and four five okay and now we should hear our snare see that there that's your snare top and there's your kick drum right there okay so we're going to keep on down the same path we're going to go ahead and select this filter, press and hold control on our keyboard and drag it down to the next track. Okay. And then we're going to choose the next set of outputs, which should be five, six, six, seven. So let's see here, five, six and six, seven right there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and press and hold control on our keyboard, drag it down and we're going to get seven, eight right there and eight, nine. Okay. Let's go ahead and do it again. And then we're going to do 9, 10, and 10, 11, right there. Let's go ahead and do it again. And then we're going to do 11, 12, and 12, 13. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Press and hold control on our keyboard. Right here, we'll do 13, 14. And 14, 15. 
press and hold control, bring it down. Go ahead and do 15, 16, and 16, 17. Press and hold control, bring it down. Go ahead and do 17, 18, 18, 19. Press and control, drag it down, let it go. Now you're going to have 19, 20, and 20, 21. And I think this will be our last one right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do 21, 22, and 22, 23. Okay, now one way to check to see if we got them all is to go ahead and get back into Superior. And let's go ahead and make sure we activate these last few channels right here with the ambient fars and all that kind of stuff, okay? And all we need to do to activate those mics is to hit this edit button, select all, boom, select them just like that, select all, boom, select all, boom, just like so. Okay, now you can see here that the kit is loading up these mics right here. Okay, and 2122 is our last output right there. So now let's go ahead and check it out by soloing it. And then let's go on to the construct section. All right, the main page right there. Sounds good to me. And there you go, people. That's how you do it. Now, of course, you'll want to go ahead and name all your channels. So highlight your channel that you need. Come down here to name. Just put kick drum. And next, you can hit track two, put snare top. Next, you can put snare bottom. Okay, and next, we'll go ahead and do the hi-hats. And next, it'll be toms. Next, we're going to have overheads. Okay, and next is going to be ambient close. All right, and next will be ambient mid. Okay, next we're going to do ambient far. All right, ambient mono. And then we're going to do the bullet. All right. Now that you've gone through the effort of naming all of your kit pieces, you'll want to go ahead and save this so that you don't have to do it again. Okay, and you have a few different options here. You can go ahead and save the edit. All right. What I would like to do is save edit as a template. That's just me, though. So that way I can pop it up next time and, you know, name the template accordingly. But that's it. We have now a multi-output instantiation of Superior running within Traction. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this helped you out. See you in the next video.